What's up everybody, this is DarkGamer001 with a quick unboxing for the uh, white Wii U Pro Controller. Now, uh, this thing has been out for quite some time, but um, the white model has become a bit of a rarity in, uh, in Europe at least, and I think even in you know North America. But it's quite common in Japan. In fact, this is a uh, Japanese model, as you can see here. You know, I was getting some stuff from Japan, found this for relatively, a relatively cheap price, so I thought, you know, why not? Quick Japanese 101, Shiro, white, Kuro, black. Also, my pronunciation of Japanese sucks, so you shouldn't rely on that. Anyway, let's get to opening this. There we go. Just a bunch of instruction manuals I can't read here. Looks like some kind of Club Nintendo code. Obviously, I can't use that. I don't have a Japanese account. Charging cable. USB. Connects straight to the Wii U, I guess. And there's the controller itself. Well, there we go. Let's take a quick look. Feels really comfortable. Obviously, you have all the standard buttons. Dual analog stick, D-pad, select, start, home button, power button. You can actually power on and power off the Wii from the Pro Controller. X, A, Y, B. Clicky buttons, good. I like that. LR, ZL, ZR. Pretty nice rear triggers to curve outwards just slightly. And also the sync button, obviously. You're gonna have to do this for the first time that you use the Pro Controller on the, on the console itself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Battery lights, the cable connects here. And yeah, pretty sweet. I love its feel. It's, it feels really comfortable, really solid. Overall, it's a decent controller. I've used the black one before. I don't have it, but my friends do, and yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I love the gamepad, but obviously for some games you might prefer using a more traditional controller, and yeah, this hits the spot. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. This is DarkGamer001, over and out.